Hi, welcome. Simon here. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an Acer all-in-one computer. All right, so let's jump right into it. The model of this. If you take a look at the back of the computer. You should be able to identify Acer Aspire C24-865. I'm going to talk about removing the hard drive, checking out the RAM maybe remove the motherboard as well get a Phillips screwdriver I have the metal prying tool because there's a hidden screw underneath here you need to remove that piece of plastic once you have removed it there are four screws exposed you need to remove the stand in order for the computer to come out I mean the uh, for you to get into the computer all right once you have removed all the four screws Put the stand here on the side. It's going to be one screw right in the middle, which is holding the bracket. Remove that screw. At this point, you can go ahead and pry it open. So this entire plastic cover should pop right up. So there's going to be a lot of clicking sound to it, which is normal because everything is clipped onto it. So to remove it, you definitely need to pop it open. It looks like the hard drive was replaced in the past, but that is the hard drive 2.5 inch. And this is an SSD drive. Once you remove the two screws, slide the external drive to the left to remove it. This is the speaker cable. To remove it, you would have to trace all the way to the other side of it, which is the black and white. That is the speaker cable for the other side. And here is the uh, um, connector for that. So to remove it, all you have to do is just lift it straight up. The connector right there has no clip or anything to remove just leave it straight up and then the entire speaker can be uh, traced following the cable this is the uh, I believe is the LCD uh, maybe for the webcam so to remove that cable lift it straight up and you might want to take a look at how the way they install so all the blue cables here is on the left and the red and the black is on the right. Uh, this one here is probably some kind of lighting at the bottom maybe. Not 100% sure. This is the uh, CPU fan. Slide it down. And once you have all the cable pushed on the side, 
this entire metal bracket should come right off. At this point, you can see that the entire motherboard is here. That is the uh, DDR4 for uh, DDR4 RAM. You have two slots. You can add additional RAM to make it eight and eight become sixteen. To remove the motherboard is pretty straightforward. Remove the screws, and there goes the motherboard. Now, for those of you who wants to replace the screen, is the screen replaceable? You need to find a donor that can sell the entire screen just like that, except the motherboard. I think that is doable, but other than that, I don't see Yeah, I think I think you still can remove it. Let me try, okay? Let me give that a try. But we definitely need to remove the motherboard first. white and black cables both of them are for your Wi-Fi this is your LCD connector flip open the clipper remove that and the entire motherboard should just come right off I wonder what happened to the motherboard but it's not turning on and this is the additional slot for your M.2 SSD if you want to add that